Spanish flu It's 1922 Come on out of your course The Great War has been won The Bacchanalia has begun It's New York City, son And the world's your oyster It's at your fingertips Your name on everybody's lips Cashing all your chips to build a reputation The time is opportune Each night we're shooting for the moon And pretty soon the world will want an invitation Too. 
east egg. Well, there's the east egg and the west egg. West egg is gangsters, bankers, new money. Uh, where did you say you were at? West egg. <laughs> so which are you then? A gangster or a banker? Uh, a bondsman, actually. Or I'm trying to be. I'm still building my clientele. Tom, you have plenty of money. Will you invest? Oh, I, I wasn't implying. Of course you I... were, and you should. What's the point of knowing a crank like Tom if not to take advantage of his money? This firecracker is Stacy's unmarried friend, Jordan Baker. Jordan's been indefinitely occupying our guest room when she's not traipsing around the country competing in golf tournaments. Jordan, meet Daisy's cousin, Nick Carroll. You're Jordan Baker, the golfer? I'm Jordan Baker, the golfer. Nick and I go all the way back to our New Haven days, but I was a football player, and you were great jokes for that terrible magazine. You'd never guessed I'd married your cousin. Only as a joke. <laughs> Nick is the third generation heir to some farming outfit in Kansas. My father owns a hardware store in Minnesota. <laughs> I, I'm here to escape my fate. That makes two of us. I always thought you'd make a go of writing. Oh, yeah, me too, until I realized I had nothing to write about. <laughs> Does Daisy know I'm here? She or... likes to make an entrance. When was the last time you saw her? Anyhow, I, I know you skipped her wedding. Oh, I, I wasn't back from the war. Everyone's favorite excuse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the lady of the hour. Nick! Remind me of an absolute rose. Can it be true my book web of a cousin has all of Manhattan a buzzin'? I'm positively devastated. You're so, so, so sophisticated. Oh gosh. It's good to see you too, Daisy. Guess the war hasn't changed you a stitch. Oh, the war changed everyone, darling. That horrible flu. Four years may as well have been four decades. Nick. <laughs> Can you believe that we now have a child? My mother can't stop talking about it. She eats and sleeps and is utterly wild. A regular human being! We had to give up all the parties and drinking. We were still wondering what we were thinking. Help me, Nick. I've been domesticated. And God, I'm so sophisticated. Nick, did you come east by train? Did you stop in Chicago? Do they miss me? The whole town is shrouded black and mourning. How gorgeous. <laughs> I love Chicago. I wish we'd never left. Then why did you? Oh, why did we, Tom? I can't remember. Uh, crime in Chicago. It's got to be a terrible thing. Booze, bootleggers, gangsters. We are much better situated here. Can you stop for a moment and take in the view? Oh, no, darling, Nick, I am looking at you. You need a wife to improve your position. Not to worry, I'll make it my mission. We'll find someone rich and celebrated. And so, so, so I couldn't possibly be a suitable match for Jordan! Have you mentioned your golfing obsession and how you turn it into a profession? Trophies and plaques hang from her wall. I always like swinging it little white ball. I think you two are my birds of a feather. I must find ways to fling you together. Love you both up in a closet for tea. Charter a boat while she ride up to sea. Mr. Janet, phone call. No, phone calls at dinner. It's regarding your board meeting, sir. Uh, to be calls. Tom. Have you been to the Metropolitan Museum of Art? No, but I hear that new Egyptian wing is... Oh, Tom is on the board. He goes in every Tuesday. You must go with him this week. Oh, I don't want to intrude. Oh, I insist. Think of the clientele. You'll be so, so, so sophisticated. If you two will excuse me. We need more lemonade. <laughs> I didn't know my cousin had designs on the two of us. Oh. Marrying me off is Daisy's favorite pastime. Don't worry, I'm a confirmed bachelor. Should I go and check? No, no. Shh, she's coming back. Who wants champagne? I thought we weren't drinking. Where was I? The virtues of marriage? Oh, yes, to marriage. Marriage is more than a thousand emotions. It is a very sweet love emotions. Lifting you up right after you fall. Marriage is not what you pictured at all. And something happens there at the altar. A man becomes your rock of Gibraltar. Holding you tight while breaking new ground. Look around.
go to bed. Oh, but we haven't had dinner. I have a tournament tomorrow, and I don't want another Shinnecock fiasco. That's what you get staying out all night. It was worth it. I was at a party at that mansion across the Sound. The host hired belly dancers direct from Turkey, paid off the Coast Guard to smuggle them in. You must know him if you live in the West Egg. Oh, I don't know. Single. Well, everyone knows Gatsby. Gatsby? What Gatsby? Wait, that guy's my neighbor. <laughs> uh, he invited me to his party tonight. You got an honest-to-God paper invitation from Jay Gatsby? <clears throat> what kind of bondsman are you, Mr. Carraway? That was virgin land when we made an offer on this place. That eyesore went up like some kind of barn raising. And the noise! It's his music we're hearing. It's a wonder Baby Panda sleeps, bombarded by dance hall music and fireworks every weekend. Well, the point is, I can't lose another tournament. Good night, Mr. Carraway. I will see you anon. Well, shall we to the dining room? No. What? I'm sorry, I'm suddenly feeling rather faint. Nick, would you mind terribly if we rain check? Oh, and Tom, I told Nick you'd be taking him ready to the city on Tuesday to your board meeting up the nut. You don't mind? Anything for family. We're so glad you came to New York, Nick, truly. <laughs> see you Tuesday. <laughs> Fresh off in the eastbound train, a ceiling full of stars was all I could see. All the constellations that felt so far away, somehow they knew York were waiting for me. But after one night out here, I fear it's clear the stars have all been taken. Where is my share of the heavens? My sliver of the silver sky. Where is my share of the heavens? Or am I a fool to even try? Thunderstorms are called for. I'm making a calculated bet. <laughs> You're sneaking out. Mm, both can be true. You should come with me. Where are you going? I'm going to show you how the other half lives. <laughs>
Speed saw me, right? I wouldn't want him to think I was disrespectful. I mean, is that his car? No one else has a yellow roll. Me, we're Oh, I need you to let go of my arm. We are your biggest fan. Yes, I remember signing your autograph book at the last party. One of you had on a gorgeous indigo gown. That was my dress! My sister was very good and she tore it. And the luckiest thing I ever did. Because Mr. Gatsby heard about it and sent us a new gasoline mm -hmm. evening gown with lavender beads from Bergdorf's. <laughs> that Gatsby doesn't want trouble with anyone. Well, I wouldn't either if I killed a man in cold blood. Anyway, the dress was $265. <laughs> and neither of you is wearing it. Are you kidding? We, we sold, sold it for rent! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you believe that about Gatsby? What, that he bought them a dress? That he killed someone? No more than I believe he went to Oxford. One is rarely truthful about who they really are. Everyone here knows I'm a golfer, but no one knows I'm from a sleepy old place like Louisville. Oh, you, you mean the new money doesn't know your old money. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm no money. <laughs> and where is Mr. Gatsby in all of this? I mean, is he even here? Gatsby doesn't mingle. What kind of a person throws large parties he doesn't even attend? A person who likes large parties. I like large parties, they're so intimate. At small parties, there isn't any privacy. Every midnight, the band plays this. We will always It's Gatsby's favorite song from before the war. It's marvelous, isn't it? It's like New Year's Eve happens every night. Uh, <laughs> if we were in Minnesota, I might ask to kiss you, Miss Wigan. If we were in Minnesota, I might say yes. <laughs> we'll shine. Hey, you kid. Mr. Carraway. I thought you were schmoozing with the cousins tonight. I stole him away. Mr. Gatsby would like to see you in the library. Mr. Gatsby? Me? Yes. You don't mind me, you kidding? They have some private business to discuss. You better listen to him. People say he fixed the world series. <laughs> for about a week, and I thought some books would sober me up. Ah, security! Old Howl eyes here was just weeping. Have I told you about the books yet? They're real. They're real. <laughs> of course they're real. What else would they be? Fake books? The cottage. The cottage. It, it's good. Very. And, and I wanted to thank you for such fair rent, Mr. Gatsby. And the invitation... Call me Jay, please, old school. <laughs> and a soldier ought to catch a break when he's starting up in New York. <laughs> it's the first I've caught. The third infantry. Am I right? Yes, sir. A uh, ninth machine gun battalion. <sighs> Battle of the Argonne Forest. You're not the only one to have served in the Great War. I was first lieutenant in the 7th. Until <laughs> June 1918. After a battle where I, I should have died. Well, I tried very hard to die. I was promoted... And the Allied government awarded me with this decoration. Major Jake Gatsby, for valor extraordinary? How about that? I didn't want you to think I was just some nobody. Here's another thing I always carry. It's a souvenir from my old Oxford days. Taken in the Trinity Quad. Now, there's nothing like standing next to the Earl of Doncaster to make you feel like a Midwestern farm boy. Wait, I'm also from the Midwest. Uh, whereabouts are you from? California. <laughs> <laughs> You may think I live an enchanted life, Mr. Carraway, but it doesn't matter how much money or adventure I amass. We lost much more than just comrades in that war, didn't we? 
To be honest, it's, it's after the war that's been hell for me. Oh. I had so many nightmares when I got back, I, I finally went to see a doctor about it, which was no use at all. That's, that's why I decided to take matters into my own hands and come out east. Ah, wise man. Now, I imagine the only reason I don't have nightmares is, <laughs> well, I, I haven't stopped fighting. That, and I've always known what I was fighting for. What was that? The one that got away. I've done it all for her. Put up these walls for her. All the plans I made, all the options I made, every price I paid for her. I went to war for her, braved for and sure for her, bottled up the guilt, then I went full tilt, rivaled Vanderbilt for her. Good 
Got me a hunch, gonna be a good day. Keep those spectacles clean, keep those eyes wide, cause I've seen you mean. Got a feeling that sometime this morning, good things are rolling my way. Talking to the creepy billboard? <laughs> Forget I asked. That's the last of the tomatoes. Okay. So, now what? Don't be so nervous. Another shipment comes on Thursday. After dark. After dark. You won't even know it happened. Well, that's good, because I can't have anyone knowing about this. I run an up and up business. Cops come by here and get gas every day nearly. And my wife, she can't keep a mouth shut. Keep breaths, Mr. Wilson. You keep running your business. I'll keep running mine. Little kids for the wine. A few hundred more. Soon this whole place will be in the review. Gonna get her out west. Like Ohio, where things will be best. Buy a track house, so not be on the lookout. I feel my duty coming to Here. Dinner's in the icebox, just heat it over the stove. Where do you think you're going? To Manhattan, to my sister's, taking the 10 o'clock train. When are you coming back? Never, if I can help it. Myrtle, why you gotta be like that? Tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we go out, nice Italian dinner. That little place with the tiramisu? And the good Chianti. I won't be home till late. Well, I don't wanna go anyway, I'm saving up my money to get us out of here. Yes, yeah, right. Go oh, now you know why it's time to leave the valley of lashes. But I'm the only attraction on the way to Manhattan. My clientele's gone to hell with you and me, Tom. Worst than kiss the last days. You're like the eyes of God. You've got me the glasses. <gasps> Wilson, old man. Fill her up. Mr. Buchanan! Hey, when are you gonna sell me that there car? Well, my man has to be waiting on a new Cadillac. Hey, he looks kinda slow, don't he? If you feel that way about it, I'd better sell it elsewhere. Hey, Nick, you want a car? Oh, I'm a train man myself. Well, I don't mean I don't oh, want it. Gotta be late to the train. Oh, why, Mr. Buchanan? What brings you here? You met the missus. Oh, well, how could I forget? Where are you off to? Dressed up like you got somewhere to go. <laughs> Hush, you. I'm uh, taking the train to the city to see my sister. The city? Well, we happen to be out that way ourselves. Why, we'll give you a lift. Oh, I wouldn't have you be bothered. Uh, no bother at all. Nick, you don't mind, do you? No, no, save that train fare for a rainy day, I always say. See that, Wilson? It saves you the train fare. And hey, that just about squares us for the gas, don't it? <laughs> oh, well, uh, yeah, I guess you can do the math that way. All full, then? All full. I'll be buying out the car sometime next week, I suppose. But say goodbye to Mr. Wilson, Mrs. Wilson. Goodbye, Mr. Wilson. Cousin Nick here thinks we're going to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. They, they, they've got this amethyst scarab they've excavated from an ancient culture. Egyptian. <laughs> My sister Catherine likes culture. Are you married, Nick? No. Oh, well, unmarried men can't be trusted. I imagine your husband was unmarried before you married him. Exactly. When my husband George proposed to me, I couldn't help but panic. Never in my wildest fantasy did I marry a mechanic. But George, he said, we'll strike it rich. You'll see, for I'm what you call an up and comer. And so I gave the boy a chance, Brady would advance. At least he's not a plumber. When I saw him walking down the aisle, Cute. I couldn't help but crack a smile. He bought himself a suit. I let him murdering on me. And gee, he looked so handsome in his bib and tucker. I promised him fidelity for eternity. And boy, was I a sucker. Man, 
I thought I was going crazy. I, I could have sworn I could hear the song we used to dance to, drifting across the water. You think Jay Gatsby is playing music just for you? <laughs> Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? I don't know. Maybe not. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to insist that you consider the honest poor boy who worshiped the ground you walk on. Get Nick. You need to call on Gatsby, or or you'll come with me, chaperone me to one of his parties. I can't do that. At least find out if you're right. Daisy, if it really is him. To what end? To not be trapped here, waiting for the other shoe to drop. Tom's having an affair. Why can't I? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Why can't you? Better or worse? For rich or for poor? My husband has delivered on the rich part. But the better I'm not sure than to learn my soldier has returned. It's a blessing and a curse. Is it for better or for worse? To have and to hold till death do us part. So certain that my soldier had been lost and with him half my choice to make. And so I built a home beyond my childhood dreams. I built the perfect place to stay, locked away. For better or worse, when we came out east, I learned that it is not what feels the best. Is what will hurt the least. And when I thought that I might start again, got the thought out of my head, a child with him instead. And so I built a home where I can't run away. Thank <laughs> you. 
who all look at me like I'm their prey. I close my eyes, but all I see is a glowing face of Daisy Faye. Mr. McKee has taken 227 photographs of me. <laughs> 228. I never should have come here as my bones begin to sweat. I need a dose of culture and I need a cigarette. Oh, they really should have dropped me at the Met. I drink. Well, I don't drink alone. Oh, the dress. Whoa, this crazy thing. I just slip it on when I don't really care what I look like. The text on it. Oh. I said just one drink, but if I go all it, I'm guessing this is number three. The bedroom's free if you want to shake the sheets with Catherine. And all that I can think of is that ill-considered favor gets me asked of me. And the bathroom lot in that And the haunt is strong, at least a few less pleasant with a stellar sense of right. Whoa. Mrs. McKee and I have an open relationship. She has sex with other people, and I'm open to it. As the sun begins to set, they sing, ain't we got fun so loud? It's like a rat. Oh, they really should have dropped me at the bat. Jake Gatsby, the millionaire on Long Island? Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but would you go to tea with him? No, but only because tea makes me vomit. I'd love to do more work on Long Island if I could gain entry. <laughs> Ask Myrtle, she'll give you an introduction. Introduction to what? Well, Long Island Society. Have him do a study of your husband. Call it a George B. Wilson at Gasoline Park. <laughs> People disappear and reappear and they all lose each other in the fray. You're like polo pony. And I'll be united only a few feet away. Ha! Relax, Mortal. There's a flash and a crash over the oversized furniture. I look around the cavern, and I find that I'm on top of her. And all of this is captured by the greedy eye photographer. I want to capture your musk. Stop me like a vulture. Tonight I'll sue the press. She's got another pile. So this is. Don't you treat me that way! Don't you flirt with my sister! Cool it, Oh, what did you do that to Daisy? Huh? Not mention Daisy! Oh, why not? You take shots at George every chance you can get to Daisy off with it! I oh, oh, Daisy, Daisy, Daisy! I'll say it whenever I want! Daisy, Daisy! Oh. Sandwiches. <laughs> I am not okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Where is it? Only four hours left, and there's too much to do. No. I don't know what to wear, what to say, how to stand when I'm standing inside the foyer of a tiny little cottage with a tiny little table filled with tiny finger sandwiches. <laughs> Drown me in the bay. <laughs> Mr. Gatsby, it's seven o'clock in the morning. Today is the day! <laughs> <laughs> is everything all right? Uh, the grass looks fine, if that's what you mean. Grass? What grass? Think, oh, the grass on the ground. <laughs> yes, it looks very good! <laughs> you have a need in the shape of tea. Oh, I, I picked up some lemon cakes at Thins. At what? At Thins. It's a delicatessen. I hope that's okay. <laughs> yes, of course. They're fine, old sport. <laughs> Papers of the rain should pass by. Oh, a, a quick summer storm. Hey, maybe there'll be a rainbow. <laughs> this is an omen. We need to cancel the whole thing. It is tea. It's only tea. No need for such emotion. Soon you'll be laughing, reminiscing. You will see. It is tea. It's only tea. I'm gonna walk into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> All to me. Right, of course you're right. <laughs> Just I'll go get changed. Well, I, I didn't know the exact plan, and I, I didn't want to be a bother, so I, I picked up a few tea things. Uh, I'll bring those on by. I, maybe a, a new shrub. <laughs> and remember, it's only tea. <laughs> bring them over at once. This is all made
have met before. We haven't met for many years. Five years. In October. The willow tree. That he waved. The officer's dance. I, I, I didn't know if you'd remember. Let's go in. Before we're drenched, there's tea and things. <laughs> Thinking? Tom is having an affair. You say that like it's news. <laughs> you knew what this Daisy? She's not a fool. Speaking of, whose idea was this? Jay's. Have we done something horrible? I don't know. It's not just the affair. Tom is positively brutal. I know. A man shouldn't be like that with any woman. I know. He doesn't deserve Daisy. Tom owns everything in her life. If she makes a single mistake, he can take away her reputation, her fortune, her child. Meanwhile, there is nothing she can do about his affairs. I see why you're against marriage. Thank you. He really was quite in love with her. Daisy stopped dating altogether after he left. That's when we became close. Until Tom swooped in. Talk about betting on the wrong horse. Should we go in? Absolutely not. Hey, what do you think they're saying in there? I imagine he's ripping her bodice. Kidding. <laughs> I think he's saying, I was drawn in by your looks, but I fell in love with your mind. <laughs> and she's saying, I would have loved you even if you had remained a penniless dreamer. You made me believe the world to be different than it was. You made me want the world to be different than it is. <laughs> <laughs> I have never been in love like that. Me neither. But I hope to someday be. Me too. Oh, hello, old sport. Oh, it's stopped raining. I didn't see a rainbow. What do you think of that, Daisy? It stopped raining. I'm glad, Jane. Uh, I would like to invite all of you over to my house. I, I would love to show Daisy around. Your, that huge place there? Uh, you always said you wanted a castle, didn't you? I, I saw this one in Normandy, and I had it replicated here, brick by brick. It's something out of a dream. And now here's where you say we should both stay behind. Really? What am I thinking now since you're reading my mind? I think you're wishing you and I were somehow out in Minnesota. So I can finally kiss you. Nothing of the kind. I'm glad we're in New York. So I can kiss you.
You are the one thing in my life that has kept me going. I've imagined you here a thousand times in this room just as you are right now. It's hard to believe you're really here. You are, though. Am I? I need to show you something. <coughs> Can you see through the mist? Look out this way. Can you see? The green light just across the bay. Sometimes it's warning, sometimes it's warning. Blinking, it's a message to me until morning. It's a lighthouse, it's a signal flare. Stay back, come quick. facing just this way. I never wavered, Daisy. I have been building toward this moment ever since we last met.
Jam. Your aunt is, is better? 
Worse than ever. I may need to go again for a few days after the weekend. Um, speaking of, Nick and Jordan are going to Mr. Gatsby's party on Saturday night. I told them we'd come along. I have felt the bastard wound. It's been so quiet these past weeks. Vote for you. Uh, Mrs. Buchanan. Is everything all right? What do you need to know? Everyone's a funny guy. I haven't seen him, uh, but he's having one of his shindigs tonight. You should stop by. <laughs> It has to be perfect. What if she doesn't like it? <laughs> she will like it. It will be a great party. I don't care about the party, old sport. Just Daisy. She needs to be transported, and then everything will, will be exactly as it was. As it should have been. Okay, well, I, I, I wouldn't ask too much of her. You know, you, you, you can't repeat the past. You can't repeat the past. <laughs> of course you can. Ah, that would be the orchestra. Or the light lobsters. Or the, is Jordan even alive in that? Jordan, what is taking so long? Okay, I, I will handle that. Fine, fine. We will meet in the ballroom. Ballroom. <laughs> Jordan! I'm not coming out like this. Oh, come on. Be a good sport. Old sport. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 Lieutenant Carraway. Miss Baker. You look like a doily. Debbie, not the Debbie I'm changing. <laughs> actually, actually, you look you look beautiful. You always do. Even in tableware. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know why we agreed to this. It's romantic. The lengths she goes to. It would have been more romantic if he married her when he had the chance. She would have turned him down. You don't know that. He was a poor upstart. She may have flirted with him, she may have led him to believe, but actually marry him? I mean, be honest. Would you have even considered dancing with me if we had met at an officer's ball? Would you have let me lead? <laughs> I'd prefer it. <laughs> Could it be 1917? Have we set inside a time machine? Something out of H.G. Wells Or another one of Gatsby's spells I think I see stars aligning yeah. Or my standards are declining no. You're learning to spot what you need When to follow and when to keep following Oh, who'd have thought you'd be clinging to a cloud? I have to hold tight for it might fly away You know spend the next five years regretting what slipped through your fingers? I, I really don't. So you think there's more here than just sinking the putt? <laughs> You're in court! <laughs> I never thought you were my style. No one keep me dizzy for a while. Maybe it's the uniform. Maybe it's the dress I never wore. You just might be my new I get there's something brewing, what we might be 
back in time just as it was before. Only now she will have everything and more. Money can't buy happiness, no sir. But it brings you closer. Take her back.
pleasure of a dance. You don't mind, do you, old sport? Lord, no, Mr. Buchanan doesn't dance. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they've stopped peacocking around. Like pulling yourself up by your bootstraps is something to be proud of. As if it's even possible, Tom. Try it. You'll fall on your face. Come on, Jordan. Let's dance. Get me a top. A fellow civilian. Ah, uh, yes. I can see right through the whole facade. You and I may be the only ones here with clear eyes. I didn't catch your name. Dr. Frankenstein. <laughs> I made the bastard head to toe. Greg, you're a business associate? Raised him up out of the gutter, and how does he thank me? Leaves me to blow in the wind the second his dream girl shows up. Would you like another, Mr. Wolfshine? Ever see a guy hold his dreams so tight? What do you think you're doing? Don't make a scene. Tom. Is there a problem, old sport? I'm just observing the decline of civilization. Uh, I'll tell you what, Jay Gatsby. I think civilization's going in the right direction. What was so great about the way things were anyway? I happen to love it here. Your life is full of joy and fascinating people. I much prefer to the life of my own. Yeah, until the other shoe drops, you don't. You're a brute. That's all you are. I'm your husband, and you've had too much cheap champagne. Not enough to drown out your indiscretions. You may have been born with class, Tom Buchanan, but you've lost all of it. You're a brute. What are you going to do? Strike me like one of your chambermaids? I didn't think so. Sorry. You have a real way with the ladies, old sport. <laughs> <laughs>
Good evening, Doc. Looks like it's closing time. Before we close shop, can I say something quick? I could use some advice. Once again, trouble in paradise. And I know that you're only a night on. Why not this Myrtle so sick? Myrtle, honey, you want some eggs? God, I'd rather die. <laughs> oh, you know, it wouldn't hurt to uh, call a doctor and have you checked out. And what if there's another one of those flus going around? Only, uh, this time it isn't from Spain, it's from Italy. Or, uh, <laughs> Brazil. Well, Canada, huh? People coming from all over to the ports of New York City these days. Oh, shut up, George. I don't have the damn flu. We're being punished by God. Yeah, what, are you pregnant? What? <laughs> what would make you think such a stupid thing, huh? We tried for, forever. How can I be pregnant? Who is he? Who is he? Rich man. No, 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 don't look at me like that, George, because I did it for us. Yeah, see, I, I got him right where I want him. He'll pay me regular to go away, or, or better, he'll pay me to support the child, and it'll be just like you want, yeah? We'll have a nice life in Ohio. You slept with another man, and you're trying to tell me that you did it for me? You're hurting me, George! Oh, we're close! Oh, come on, I'll fill her up for a friend. Oh, this you can't, and I, I didn't recognize you there. You come. Mr. Buchanan, I'd like to see you. Uh, maybe I can hit another ride. Yeah. Tom's dinner time phone calls. That's her. Everything all right with the missus? Shouldn't he be asking you? Mrs. Wilson just uh, isn't feeling herself. You know how it is. Do I ever? Ah, uh, this, uh, this Rolls Royce is a real beaut. Uh, what you do with the... The blue coupe. You still want it? Hey, more than ever. As you can hear, we got some real cabin fever. Yeah, I'm just taking this car for a spin. Thinking of getting one myself once I sell you mine. I'll be ready maybe next week to trade up. Any chance I could use your loo? It's such a long way to the plaza. Well, I don't think that's uh, such a good idea. My, my wife's been sick, you see. She's been uh, throwing up the past couple days. Ew. Never mind. <laughs> I'll wait until we get to the plaza! Hey, what are you doing? I'm sticking it to Tom. Hi, ho! To the plaza we go! <laughs> hey, I got a sentence for you. Where you want it? You got a kid. I told them they're in room. Nobody picked up the last one. I'll drop it here if I have to. Fine! Well, that's too. Well, sweet. Open another window. Uh, there aren't any more. Well, we better telephone for an act. The best thing to do is forget about the heat. You make it ten times worse by complaining about it. Wouldn't have to complain if we weren't here. Oh, why not leave it alone, old sport? The plaza was your idea anyway. That's a great expression of yours. All this old sport business. Where'd you pick that up? Oxford? Now, Tom, if you're going to make personal remarks, I won't stay here another minute. No, no, I understand. Mr. Gatsby here, he's an Oxford man. <laughs> not exactly. You see, I went to Oxford, yes. But I only stayed for about five months, so I, I can't call myself an Oxford man. After armistice, us officers could attend any university in England or France. But you, you wouldn't know that because you, you never served. Ah! Why didn't you serve? Flat feet! Oh. <laughs> Open the whiskey, Tom. I'll make you a mint julep. Maybe you won't seem so stupid to yourself. <laughs> you must have had a real pick of the ladies Why the, why the rest of us were off risking our lives What kind of row are you trying to cause in my house anyhow? He isn't causing a row, you are I'm a little self-control Self-control? Is this the latest thing, the latest thrill? To watch a man nowhere, Phil 
fact, your wife then just sits still. If that's the plan, you can count me out. See, that's the kind of progress I can do without. I see where the winds are blowing. Everyone can stop tiptoeing. Drink a drink and you'll be going. I'm not going anywhere. She never loved you and she never will So don't you die upon that hill Goodbye old sport And please don't be mad I'm sure you're the second best she's ever had All this from a cheap imposter Sorry but I fear you've lost her You're the one who double crossed her <laughs> He's slick and he's fast and run out of gas None of this was made to last The quick little flick never quietly passed None of this was made to last. You want to talk about flames? Nick, did Tom ever tell you why they really left Chicago? So you could mooch off my generosity. You ripped the fender off your car and the chambermaid with you broke her arm! Get out of me. Oh. Even for you, that was a scandal for the ages. And how much did you pay to stay on the social pages? So often I might go off on a spree. A spree? So I make a fool of myself. No, Tom, you make a fool of me. You leave a trail of lies that never lies. I said, stay out. We all know, so why pretend? I thought that we were friends. I see now this is a conspiracy. Now go chase yourself. Old sport, it's time to face reality. Daisy is leaving you. Is that your estimation? If she doesn't love I you. I don't have all the money. We so desperation. Go on and tell. Buy some cash and buy some cheap financial charm. But before Daisy's not free, I put a baby in her arms. Daisy knows the kind of work you do. The six-six saving is best selling for you. This dirty crook has carved out quite a niche. He's selling food like boots and getting filthy rich. <laughs> Daisy, 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 Daisy,
we are, right? How could anyone want to get married after seeing all it turns into? That, that's not what marriage is. Isn't it? Well, that, that, that's not what marriage is for us. For better or worse. It will be different for us. For rich or for poor. We, we, we can make it different. But don't you think that every newlywed believes their marriage will endure? That they somehow escape their fate? Is it every wedding's curse? First for better, then for Listen to me. 
That car I was driving earlier wasn't mine. Understand it? I was just now bringing you the blue coupe we talked about. Well, who owned it? The Rolls? It goes by Gatsby. Goes by? Well, who knows? Because these gangsters. He, he's in with a fellow named Wolfshot. Heard of him? I mean, what kind of low life takes a man's wife right from under his nose? What? <laughs> Nothing. Just no class, that man. He owns that ostentatious house on the Sound, the one with all the parties. He said, she said he was rich when we were fighting. She was having an affair. I had no idea. She was pregnant. Pregnant? Carly, I mean, I mean, you don't think if you get mixed up with gangsters, you never know what's going to happen. Pregnant, that's, that's pregnant. What if she hurt you? What if she died trying to get to the plaza? Are we responsible for someone choosing to walk down the highway in the middle of the night? Well, we are. We told her to do it. We didn't tell her to do anything. All we know is that Jay and Daisy drove down this road right before we did. Is that what you want to tell the cops? A, a woman died tonight. Ruining other people's lives won't bring her back. You're harmless. I'm right. And you know I'm right. And you can wring your hands all you want, but your guilt doesn't make you noble. I don't want to marry you. Good. You know, you may have had me dizzy for a while, but I don't give a damn about you now. Goddamn coward didn't even stop his car. Let's go, Caraway. Uh, I'd, I'd rather walk. A woman just died walking this highway. Yeah, even with those odds, I'd rather walk than get in a car with the likes of you two. Live your life! Mr. Wilson, we're going to need you to come down to the office and make a statement. Why? <coughs> You got eyewitness accounts saying what happened. We found some suspicious looking crates around back that complicate matters. We just gotta make sure we have the whole story here. The story is... The man in the yellow Rolls Royce killed my wife! Easy, Mr. Wilson. And if you don't have anything to hide, there won't be any trouble, will there? No. Go on, gather your things. We'll meet you at the car.
Jay, sit, sit. Oh, Jay, what are you doing? You gotta get out of here. You saw the trouble on the road. In trouble? A woman was killed. I thought so. I told Daisy I thought so. It's better for the shock to come all at once. She stood it pretty well. But Daisy shock? Jay, 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 you can't, you can't be here. There are eyewitnesses who saw your no, car. No, no, I don't think anyone saw anything. I, I came here on a back road. I, I locked my car in the garage. Do, do you know who the woman was? Myrtle Wilson. Her husband owns the gas station. I mean, what the devil happened? <laughs> Daisy. Daisy was nervous as we left the plaza. Tom. <laughs> it got in her head. I had her thinking I was some kind of cheap shark, or she, she thought it would steady her to drive. Daisy was driving? Well, of course, I'll say I was. Not that it was her fault. That, that woman came out of nowhere. And at first, she turned away from the woman into the other lane, and there was another car coming. And then as soon as I reached for the wheel, I, I, I fell Her open. Don't, don't, don't sport. Where's Daisy now? She's coming here. She is. She just had to get a few things settled back at home. She's with Tom now. Well, I, I dropped her off, and then I waited for a while in the bushes after she'd gone inside. <laughs> in case things got out of hand, I, I don't trust him, old sport. God, he's not thinking about her tonight, okay? She is not an irresponsible woman. She has a child. She, she had to get things sorted. Jay, Jay, they're going to trace your car. You've got to go to Atlantic City or off to Montreal. Oh, no, 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 no. I couldn't possibly. Not when I'm this close to giving Daisy the life she deserves. But Daisy isn't coming back. Don't you see that? Open your eyes, Jay. Impossible. I did all for you. Put up this wall for her. Stoke and stoke the flame. Play the deadly game. I take any blame for her.
I wonder if it'd be too much trouble to have the butler send them on? You see, they're tennis shoes, and I'm sort of helpless without them. Get out! Vultures! Every last one of them! The words mob hit tend to scare decent folk off, so what are you doing here? I know it happened. He was innocent. What? He was. Daisy was driving that car, and, and Tom pinned his own affair on him. Jay didn't deserve this. And that lady didn't deserve to be killed in a hit and run. Deserve has got very little to do with real life. Deserve? <laughs> Let me tell you, Gatsby got plenty he didn't deserve on the flip side, too. He was my friend. Jay Gatsby was the greatest con artist in America. You think he didn't con you? He was a self-made man. That doesn't make him a con artist. His real name was James Gatz. If it weren't for his father, who we have taken good care of, <coughs> I wouldn't even know his real name. Jay started lying long before I met him, even before he met your cousin. But that Daisy Faye was like his goddamn American dream. And when he found out she was married, pushed harder, dug deeper, built this house, found out her cousin was moving to New York, tipped the cousin off to dirt cheap rent on a cottage he happened to own. There's no such thing as luck. There's no such thing as deserve. Hell. There's no such thing as the American dream. It's just people like Gatsby, conning the world into believing in it. And people like me working behind the scenes to make it happen. That, 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 that is impossible. He couldn't have known all of that. But he did. And somehow, and this is the magic of that man. This is what I miss. He made you feel like you were part of something. I'm standing in Grand Central, waiting for a westbound train. I'm carrying all I own, left nothing. I'm watching frame by frame the reasons I had to go replaying in my mind And on my way back to St. Paul I start to write it all and remember In my young, more vulnerable years my father gave me some advice that I have been turning over in my mind ever since. Whenever you feel like criticizing anyone, he told me, just remember that all the people in this world haven't had the advantages you've had. I think of Daisy and Tom and how little I understood when I first went to their house for dinner. I got a nice place here. I'm paralyzed with happiness. I think of Jordan and the mess we made of things. I like large parties. They're so intimate. We'll show them. They're at the start and, and they're at the end. No one refuses Jay Gatsby. And the, the Wilsons. The tragedy of them. The, the loss of them. People holding their dreams so tight they can't see everything stacked against them. You met the missus. Unmarried men can't be trusted. Gatsby believed in the green light. The orgastic future that year by year recedes before us. It eluded us then, but, but, but that's no matter. Tomorrow, we will run fast, stretch out our arms further, and one fine morning, so we beat on. Boats against the current, borne back ceaselessly into the past.